Dina Kitabi. I'm professor of computer science at MIT. I do research about wireless networks, things like Wi-Fi networks, cellular networks. I find wireless networks to be really fascinating because they are they are combinations of computers and radios. So computers are these like wonderful things that can do so many th new things for us. And radios are like physics and electromagnetics. So you combine both together and you see completely new opportunities. And I find that so fascinating. And the goal of the research that we do has two aspects. One of the goals is to make the networks more efficient, more reliable, and make your downloads go faster over cellular or Wi-Fi. But also, we would like to come up with new things for doing uh, things that maybe you haven't thought of how to do it with wireless networks before. So one of the things that occupy us now, can you get x-ray vision, for example, on your cell phone? So like for example, if I take my cell phone and I point it at the wall, can I just start seeing by looking at, by emitting Wi-Fi signals and looking at the screen of the cell phone, start seeing how people are moving behind the wall? We know that wireless signals can traverse walls. And we also know that wireless signals reflect off our body. And they come back after they traverse the wall. So if you can de design a device that can capture these reflections, then you can start seeing how humans are moving behind the wall. Is it tracking me? Yeah. OK. There are so many applications where you want this, like firefighters, for example. They want to be able to see through walls and obscure structures before risking their life getting into a building. They want to see whether there are survivals. Yeah. Wireless um, nowadays is in every aspect of our lives. Many people don't realize that when you are talking about medical implants like pacemakers and cardiac defibrillators, these uh, medical implants nowadays, they have wireless connectivity in them. And that's great because then the doctor can access your medical implant over the wireless network and check that you are healthy and fine. But also it means the bad guys can also try to hack into your pacemaker or medical implant. So one of the uh, work that we did, we showed that a hacker, um, a malicious person can hack into a pacemaker or cardiac defibrillator and give an electric shock to the patient. Uh, <laughs> don't worry too much because also we have a solution. So we, we developed a solution for that by using an external device like a necklace, for example, that transmits a randomized signal. And the property of this randomized signal is that it prevents any uh, untrusted entity from decoding or accessing the uh, pacemaker, but the trusted device of the doctor or uh, the medical professional, they can still access the device. When I got the call from Wakata, I thought it was prank. I think it's going to be very valuable to my work because uh, when I do my work, many of the, like, it gets expo exposed to researchers and scientists in my field working on similar problem. But having the award will expose the work to a much larger audience and broader part of the society, and that's priceless.